of India. So I just wanted a little bit of uh, guidance in that respect. Hmm. So I think this is uh, this is something which uh, which is, which can be only solved through approaching the correct markets. Like I know of Mipcom being one of the television markets where the content creators from uh, from across the world they come there for television series and all. There must be more. I, I I don't look after TV in my department, so I'm not aware so much about it. But yes, uh, you can go there and other like-minded festivals where such kind of thing is happening. So that was comes to mind. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, so I just want to know, okay, right now we all are talking about reason the feature films and everything. Can you just, anyone like help me about, uh, for the short films, like what we do for short the budget is too high, but the budget act, this is the requirement of the script. And so I just want an advice to do, like, because whenever I go to and I ask people, they tell me that there's no money in short films, there's no money in short films, you'll, you'll not get any return. But the story requires that kind of the production value and everything, the kind of stars and everything. So what should I do for that? Because I really want to make it, I believe in that story. I really want to make it, that budget goes to one point. I just want to know how I should just like you know follow the passion kind of thing that I want to make it. Or I should think it uh, monetarily, I don't, no one will give me the money. So what should I do for that, please? Film labs and short film festivals that actually fund your script. I think first you need to you need to understand that. And if you're going to be the producer of what you're going to make, first think why it is so high. I think that's the first learning of any producer. It's uh, first thing, do you really need 1.5 to make this film? And try to bring a lot of people on equity to make it rather than paying them. Make them equity holders in it. So think of innovative ways to bring down the actual ticket size of the, of the short film. But there are short films around the world multiple places, places like Japan and uh, Sweden, some of the countries, they actually give you funding if they really believe in the story. Just reach out to them. Thank you, sir. Uh, hi. Uh, good evening. My name is Navin Dwarkanath. I am from Bengaluru, Karnataka. Uh, I've been doing documentaries and short films from 2005 and luckily I got a chance to make a commercial movie in Canada for proper two hours. Uh, the challenge where it comes in for me right now as we are independent filmmakers, uh, through me and my friend we have produced the movie. So film is ready. When we go to the distributors, they sell, make yourself safe, sell it to ODT or satellite and then come go for release. When we actually go to uh, the OTTs, they say release in theatres. <laughs> so we've been running around here and there and we're not getting the right channel, channel as to whom to approach. We, can reach the, we cannot reach the God, we can only reach the Pandit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to say that, you know, what Sharik is saying from the beginning of it, as a producer, you need to think through the whole chain of the release before you actually think of making a film. Think, not even making the film. I think I'll leave it to Sharik. No, no, it's, it's, honestly, it's tough. I mean, why we, why all of us choose to be in this business, I don't know. I think it's the passion or whatever it is. But it's a, it's a continuous hustle. Uh, it's a continuous hustle. Whether you are a producer, I mean, I'm, I've been sitting in this chair for the last five years, but before that I was an independent producer myself and I made one movie which was funded by the studio and I thought, you know, uh, and because I knew I had to get that done, uh, I kind of made sure that all the money came from Viacom and, you know, and the film got made. And then after that I thought, I'll, you know, my second script just didn't take off. I mean, it just didn't, despite having a successful release uh, with, you know, first in the studio, the hustle continues, it's it's never ending, you know, you just have to continuously be there and hence the passion comes in. The passion is saying I'm going to, you know, literally slog myself every day and wake up in the morning and say why am I doing this and not just as producer, as director, actors, I think, you know, they've got the toughest job because they get rejected, you know, 100 times before they're selected for the first time and it's just, it's just a continuous grind and that is what keeps, keeps us going. Uh, so I would suggest just keep at it and you know, if the film is if the film is good, it finally or the film, you know, if it if, if it if it's good, it'll you know it'll find its audience. Uh, will it make money? I don't know. I think you need to get a release. I think that's important. I think you know uh, a lot of people celebrate success. I think you should start just celebrating a release, saying that you know you release the movie despite all the odds, and that's you know well done. That, well done that. All the best. And your passion should be backed by your lap also. <laughs> Hi, uh, Hello. I recently edited a commercial picture film 